ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಸಿಂಧೂರಾರುಣ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಂ ತ್ರಿನಯನ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯ ಮೌಲಿ ಸ್ಫುರ ತಾರಾನಾಯಕ ಶೇಖರ ಸ್ಮಿತ ಮುಖಿ ಆಪೀ ನಮಕ್ಷೋರುಹಾಂ ಪಾಣಿಭ್ಯ ಮಲಿಪೂರ್ಣ ರತ್ನ ಚಷಕಂ ರಕ್ತೋತ್ಪಲಂ ವಿಭ್ರತಿ ಸೌಮ್ಯಾಂ ರತ್ನ ಘಟಸ್ಥ ರಕ್ತ ಚರಣ ಧ್ಯಾಯೇತ್ ಪರಾಂ ಅಂಬಿಕಾ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಲಲಿತಾ ಲಲಿತೋಪಾಖ್ಯಾನ and in the previous chapter we have seen both vishang vishanga and vishukra took to the battlefield along with uh, they along with their nephews and when they saw both vishanga and vishukra took to the battlefield both mantrini devi and dandini devi proceeded to fight against them and in a fierce battle finally vishukra threw away a trishastra at the the divine army of the shaktis and that because of the effect of trishastra all the shakti devatas the entire army of shakti started feeling the thirsty and at the same time they sent out a mysterious fire that started scorching them inwardly and on seeing the fate of their army which was losing the strength and the valor because of the feeling of thirstiness mantrini devi advised dandini devi to invoke madira sindhu who is capable of supplying milli a big a big i mean a rain of the liquor to all madira to all the devat all the shakti devatas in order to encourage them and bring them out of their state of thirstiness with the blood red eyes ornamented with garlands of golden lotuses madhira sindhu prostrated before dandini and enquired of her what she wanted him to accomplish she bade him look upon the suffering armies of shaktis and ordered him to save them by sending them different varieties of drinks so that they may soon revive and be once more full of strength and energy so as to fight the danavas madira sindhu upheld the pitiable state of the shakti damsels and also how the danavas taking advantage of their weaknesses was slaying them on all sides he immediately expanded his body and in a moment caused showers of tasty and fermented drinks there were crores and crores of streams pouring into the midst of the shakti armies in a myriad streams the shakti damsels avidly drank up the wine and were soon been dancing and jumping with glee their jaws sagged no more and their limbs and senses returned to normal even the fallen damsels recovered and rose to do battle again some who drank in excess embraced their dancers as lovers would and danced with ecstasy having thus accomplished his task successfully madira sindhu returned to dandini devi and wished her to behold the damsels now dandini was most pleased at him for saving the situation so smartly she gave him many a boon she ordained that he would be present at every vajapaya yagna where wine purified with mantra will be used in future in his honor also only those who drank wine thus purified and offered would obtain siddhi and not the other drinkers also bhargava maheshi and maheshwara and balarama would drink wine quite often and so also the tatriya even ordinary people will celebrate partaking of wine in every yagna and wine thus purified and worshiped will give them all siddhis after thus honoring madira sindhu dandini spoke to mantrini and told her that she may now send the damsels back to war at will 
for they will now be more than equal to that force so the battle raged again between the two sides and once more the damsels excelled the danavas in courage skill strength and speed thanks to the wine working in their refreshed and renewed bodies the devas became glad and again hopeful of success dandini devi destroyed a hundred akshoginis and mantrini another half a hundred ashwaruda and others well fed with wine dispatched ulukajit and his brothers to the yamas abode and then destroyed another 150 akshoginis by this time the third day of the battle was also coming to a close for the sun began to descend beyond the hills of the west as the darkness began to fall like a curtain on the battlefield vishukra grew in prowess and showered sharp arrows on shamalamba with intent to stay her forthwith but sachi vishachi vesani scattered his arrows and smashed his great bow into two and without giving him a chance to arm himself again she slew his charioteer and cut down his standard with a shower of 100 arrows then with the astra equal unto the head of brahma himself she severed vishukra's head from his body speedily to the wonder and joy of the devas vandini covered up vishanga with her arrows and hit him with her musala rod but vishukra brother was undaunted he pounced upon vandini with his mighty club soon there was they were seen fighting a duel with clubs roaring like two wrathful lions their bodies were covered with blood and they fought on far into the middle of the night then suddenly finding an opening varahi entangled her hala yudha around the neck of vishanga and dragged him down from his chariot vishanga feeling ashamed to call himself a man or to live any longer after this humiliatory treatment gave up his body and fell to the ground along with his battered chariot thus the third days were ended bandini and mantrini spent the rest of the night on the battlefield itself along with their shakti armies and when the morning dawned hide into their queen reporting their victory to her for receiving her approbation and the blessings thus in this chapter we have seen the initially vishukra threw a arrow that caused the thirsty in the entire rank and file of the shakti army however madira sindhu from the dandini skiri chakra ratha he came and he showered the ocean of madira on all the devat devat shakti devatas making them enthusiastic once again clearing their thirstiness and then with a new vigor they fought against the danava army and at the height of the battle mantrini devi shamalamba took on to vishukra and then she threw a arrow astra equal to the head of the brahma itself and with that she severed mantrini devi severed the vishukra's head from his body speedily to the wonder and joy of all the devas meanwhile on the other side dandini was fighting with vishanga she entangled by a hala yudha around the neck of vishanga and dragged him down from his chariot vishanga vishanga feeling ashamed at this finally gave up his body thus at the end of the third day's war vishukra died in the head the hands of mantrini shamalamba and then vishanga died in the hands of dandini varahi devi नमस्ते शारदा देवी काश्मीर पुरवासिनी तामहम प्रार्थये नित्यम
विद्यादानंच देहिमे गुड बाय